YouTube and welcome to another XD Crafter tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a server on Minecraft. First off, go to craftbucket.com. I'll leave the link in the description for you. And you just want to download this link right here. Okay, while that's downloading, you're going to need to download a program that's almost like text edit, it's just a little bit easier to use. It's called Text Wrangler. You just download that. Okay, while that's downloading, you go to your desktop, make a folder, name the server. Okay, now that text wrangle is done, just gonna install it quickly. Okay, now open text wrangle right. All you want to do is copy this code here, it's in the description. Copy that and then paste it in there. And then save it. Now you have to get this part right. Set, save it as start um, underscore server dot command. And that should work. Now for some people, I don't know why, um, when you try to get this working on the server it just doesn't work if that happens to you and it says needs permissions or whatever just go to terminal and then get this code here and go space and drag the file in and hit enter now that should be done. Okay, now that your craft bucket's done downloading, just drag it right into your server folder and you have to rename it. You have to make sure you get this part right. Just delete all those and just make sure it says craftbucket.jar. And there you go. Now all you can do is to start your server whenever. Just double click on this. And this should come up. All this. This is just making all your files. So the first time you load it, it's going to be a bit laggy. So it's making all the files and everything. Now if you want to join the server and you're the one running it, you're not going to be able to type in the IP, which is when you get the IP from um, one of the videos I just made. So if you're the owner of the server and you're playing on it, you have to type in localhost for the IP, like here, so you just go local, localhost, and there you go, and that's your server. Now it's going to be a bit lag when you start it up because it has to render everything but it will eventually get a little bit less laggy and start working better. Okay another important thing is is that you have to to stop your server you have to type in stop and then hit enter don't just go exit it out and that's about all and thanks for listening I'll be making some more tutorials shortly and hope you enjoyed the tutorial.